This is Channel Attitude. Your voice. Your right. Your freedom. right here on Vince Russo's The Brand, the Big Vito Brand Audio. I'm Mrs. Part. I'm Noel. This is the Mr. Part. He's Big Vito. And we are back, kind of. <laughs> We're kind of back. I'm sorry. I was uh, indisposed. Miss Noel has not been feeling very well. And she had, you know, some health issues, but... Mm, when we were supposed to be recording last week, I was at the hospital. Yeah. So that's why you didn't get a show from us. We had to take the week off because the doctor put me on bed rest. And I, you know, other than talk like, you know, Vito does the talk, I, I do everything else and I wasn't allowed to. So we're back. We're going to give this a whirl. I rested. Somewhere. <laughs> Definitely not rested. But I'm trying my best. So if I'm not my full jumping around animated self, please excuse me. You're getting about a 75% Noel when you normally get like 150% Noel. Vito, did you miss podcasting with me, friend? Of course, babe. I did not miss this. Oh, I missed it. Mm -mm. Looking fucking good, V. God damn it. You done looking at yourself? Babe? Yeah. You fucking handsome son of a bitch. Handsome son of a bitch. Okay, Vito, while we were gone, what has happened? I got better looking. Training has been good, you know? How do you get better looking? It just happens. Well, everybody knows you bought a Cadillac. Beautiful Cadillac. And we gotta break. You have to break the news to the people because everybody has been going like mad nuts about you selling the red car. What happened today? I sold the red car today. First guy came, and um, he said, "This is beautiful." The guy was three hundred and fifty pounds. I don't know. He was how a he nice did man. It. He was a nice man. He bought it for his wife. He got in that car. I was like, "Motherfucker." You want something, you get in it, right? He says, this is beautiful. He says, you know, you're under book by. I says, I need to sell it. We're not comfortable in it. So he understood. He left me a deposit. He's coming back tomorrow. Vito sold you guys' red car. <laughs> I think the people considered that their red car because you're always like dro dropping off Christmas gifts. You're in the red car. You went and visit fans in the red And now it's like weird. And I can so what are you, you going to do now? You got one Cadillac. And I know my husband. You're not going to stay with one car. Everybody says you have too many cars. You have too no, many cars. Guys, and I know you have another one coming, but. Today's debate I am torn between a beautiful. I mean, this this car is beautiful. Yellow Corvette. It had 70,000 miles. This thing wasn't... I showed the wife. She was like, that's a nice, lovely boy. I'm telling you, it's good. Then I found my vintage car that I have been looking for for a long time. A Cadillac Eldorado Baritz. White. 76,000 miles with the blue leather seats that you could sit and you can make it like a couch. And what did I say to you as soon as I saw it? What did I say? Let me get the door for you, Mr. Sinatra, because that's exactly what it looks like. I wish I wish I had these problems Vito has that he needs to like debate with you guys. Like, I, I, should I get a Corvette or should, or should I get this classic cow? People don't have these problems in real life, Vito. You, you're not, you're, you're not connectable to the people. It's because I'm a fucking made guy. You know what I mean? I got things happening. You know, my brother, I spoke to my brothers today. They were back in the old neighborhood. They're talking about some family business. You know, it was good to hear. I had a laugh. 
because they were talking about all the greatest hits because they were few, with a few wise guys. And uh, one of the crew didn't happen to make a greatest hit, and he had to pay the bill. So who was it? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Good thing I wasn't there because if this would have been uh, Vito's record, it speaks for itself. But <laughs> <laughs> so you have to pay the bill if you don't make the greatest hits list on the. Uh... You don't make a hit, especially with those guys. You got to pay the bill. Wow. So the moral of the story is don't go to breakfast with those guys. Yeah, you have to pay the bill. And their breakfast doesn't last like, you know, how you guys go and you order, you have a little conversation, a cup of coffee, and you go, these guys have like six-hour breakfast. What do you do for six hours at the breakfast place? You talk about stuff, talk about things, talk about, you know, what's happening in the neighborhood. I have so many things that I would like to talk about, and they're all rushing into my head right now. And we're going to have a poll today. Vito's going to pick the poll. He, he just said, I think he wants you guys to pick his car, which will be fine if that's the poll you want to do. But there's a lot of different things I want to touch on. Number one, people are asking actually what happened to me. And I'm getting a lot, like, I want to thank everybody for all the messages. I can't believe how many we got and people helping me and sending me stuff from my back and everything else. Nothing per se happened to me. That's the thing I think that people don't understand is like people think I was in an accident or something and they're like, well, what happened to you? Nothing happened to me. You know, I, nothing. I wasn't in a car accident or a fight or anything. Nothing happened. Guys, to let me. me put it to you like this. It's a declining health issue. Degenerative. They said it did. De well, degenerative. it's degenerative, but it's like, you know, it's not getting any better and we just got to live life as it comes. So you know, we take the good with the bad and, you know, it's just been a, a downward spiral. So we're trying to deal with it, but we're doing the best we can with it. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, it's a little tough sometimes, but thank you to everybody who reached out to my wife. I greatly appreciate it. And I know I sent out a video thanking everybody, especially the guys who work, work with us. You know, they've been checking on her and some of the people. We've got a beautiful, beautiful um, set of chocolate strawberries from Nancy. 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 Hi, Nancy. Nancy. Thank Nancy you very much. Nancy knows we love the chocolate strawberries. She sent us a box of Happy Thanksgiving and they'll get well. And I want to thank Big Ray because... A lot yes. of everybody knows we work with Hami Media and Big Ray helps us with the Patreon and Ray stepped in because there were points where I was I was really, really bad, couldn't move in, and Ray mm -hmm. stepped up and he tried to fill in. Um, so thank you. Thank all the people on TikTok. We have mm -hmm. such a great community on TikTok, guys. People say they can't believe that you talk to them on TikTok. And I think that's ridiculous. Right. Like we love the people. We have so much fun with them. They ask questions and we get to make silly videos. So if you guys want to go and hang out with us on TikTok, uh, it's at the Big Vito brand, but all of them messaged to see how I was. They were praying and, and, and we appreciate that because I believe in prayers and so does Vito. And I need them sometimes, trust me. I've really been, the last two months, you guys know I had the sinus infection and that kind of went into what's wrong now. And, and it, it's all, you know, a mess, but prayers work. So thank you for the prayers. Um, Russo, thank you, Mr. Russo. He checked on me uh, and last minute I was like, oh boss, I'm in the ER. Uh, I don't think we're going to show you. He was worried about a show. He was worried about me, and I thank him for that. And I thank this guy here because he takes such good care of me. And I got cupcakes, and I got <laughs> Sour Patch Kids, the watermelon kind. So thank you. I'm very food motivated, in case you haven't noticed. Plus, I've been cooking, cleaning, making dinners. You Shaking know, that ass. You know, doing what I got to do, keeping fit in the gym. I, I don't care. I don't care. Gee, I have, oh my God, supplements kicking. I don't care what's wrong with you. But we've been dealing with a lot of personal stuff too. And, and uh, you know, we had lost some friends in uh, the past few weeks and we've been dealing with that. And it's just been a lot. But, you know, Thanksgiving's coming this week. We're hoping to have some family over. We're from some friends. You know, it's going to be a pretty laid back Thanksgiving because I can't do too much. But, we're going to get some Christmas decorations going. We love the holiday season. I bought Vito um, for a thank you for being such a wonderful husband. His first Elvis Christmas vinyl. 
because everybody in the brand's into vinyl. So he got his first Elvis Christmas vinyl. We're going to play that and, and it's going to be good. And I, you're so cute and I love you so much. <laughs> It's part of being a good husband, guys. So if anybody out there wondering what it's like to be a good husband, if you have to follow somebody, and I could be an example of what a devoted husband is, I'm glad you could follow me and, you know, learn some things. The word sacrifice is a big word. So um, you just got to stick by your woman. And no matter what, you know, everybody asks, you know, who's going to push me in a wheelchair when I get old? Well, kind of happened before we got old and I pushed my wife for a long time and taking care of her for like seven years since we've been married. So it hasn't been easy. A lot of understanding, a lot of patience. I should be a fucking doctor two times over. Well, you told me you were only a couple away from being a gynecologist. Yeah, so. I'm a couple. I need to go out and get my gyno license. No, you could probably get it in, in, in the know. local community here because these women, they fall all over oh, you. Yeah, they, fucking, I, they love me. I found out a thing about you yeah. recently just oh. by listening. Okay. What is with you and your attraction to women playing cards? I've had several people now tell me, oh, yeah, the card group. Vito loves this ladies' card group. Vito's always at Marjan helping the ladies. Blah, blah, blah. What? I, I, I would love to play cards. I don't because my I don't do good with the numbers. But what is with you and these women playing cards? I got to know because it's like now it keeps coming up that you're like hanging out at card groups now. Like what is I don't know, you? guys, because, oh, Vito, when are you coming to Hannibal TV? As soon as they invite me. Whenever they want us. I didn't realize we were on live with a thing. We're not supposed to be, but I guess we yeah, are. So right. okay. sorry, anyway, my bad. <laughs> so the reason I go to Marjan because you've got all those lovely ladies dressed up and I walk over in my gym attire or in my swimsuit edition and uh, looking buff. He wears a speedo. Then ladies are peeking out the window. I know that. And they just go, mm, mm, Merry fucking Christmas. Feed up, Joseph. Right. Anyway, when you talk, you know, why would you just talk to one when you could talk to five? Oh, take this will interfere with the microphone. So, We're a mess today. Talking to five ladies instead of one, it's my game. You know what I mean? So instead of one number, I get five. But you're not supposed to get any numbers. You have a wife. I know, but I got side chicks. Oh, my God. Vito, yeah. we're coming upon the holiday season. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to revisit a little something because I, uh, it came up again over the weekend with my sister, Dr. E, who you guys know is a doctor of education in music. Uh, we were talking about your Christmas song list. Mm -hmm. You have an unusual Christmas song list. We're heading into the holidays. And we had a debate last year where you swore to God that in the ghetto from Elvis. It is. Christmas song. Stop. Don't even start it. It is. It's not a Christmas song. Oh, my God. But now you've picked up like a small group of new songs this year all of a sudden. I sent one to you as a joke, and and now you're like really into G Fella. And if you guys don't know, G Fella is a Staten Island rapper. He is the guy that came up with the Guido 12 Days of Christmas, but he has a very long list of music that um, Vito happens to be enthralled with. And was part of the reason you just purchased that white Cadillac outside. Yeah, they had a white CTS. I got a white CTS. Because he had to have what they had in the song, and it was a white CTS. Now, this week, I put on your Facebook a song called Guman. Now, you've been very big into the Cosmo Guman. P.S. Bobby G. pulls up in our driveway the other day yelling, Cosmo, I'm back from vacation. It's out of hand. It's out of hand. But anyway. Everybody knows I'm the cop. But Bobby G. pulls in. Cosmo. Cosmo. Oh, they say you have to have an IROC Z. It, uh, listen, that was He's on the looking. list. I did He's go to look at one, but the guy says, yeah, the air condition is not working, so will you fix it? Yeah, the guy says next door it works. They said, but you said it doesn't. Which is it? The you guy know. next door said it works. What's it going off his house? So, <laughs> it's got, and that car has 27,000 miles on it sitting in somebody's garage. It's a Firebird IROC Z. I could have it if I want. 
Let me go back into what I was saying. <laughs> so I put the thing and you're like, yeah, the Gumans, you gotta get the girl on Thursday night, you take the wives out on the Saturday, blah, blah, blah. But did you listen to the song? Did you listen to the whole song? Yeah, the end. Did you hear that it was the wife going, you're full of shit, like you're sitting on the couch eating Fruity Pebbles, watching TV, you have no Gumad? You have no Gumad! And the song Gumad. said it! The song said Gumad. you have no Gumad. It does, I don't care what a song says. I go with my life says. I got Guma. I've seen no Guma. Plus, they not so, hold on, hold on. The wife says, I've seen no Guma. They're not supposed to see the Guma. <laughs> you. Vito, did you wrestle at the Queen's Elf Lodge for ECW? Yes, many times. I keep losing my train of thought because the chat, because we never have the channel because we're not, we, we usually do shit like Um. So Vito, it, I, I think that song fits you perfectly because you're out there. I'm in the club, oh, my gumas, I got it this, I got it that, I got it this over here. But I'm eating fruity pebbles on the couch watching Sopranos with my wife. That is you. That you is not are me. Jeepa. I don't eat friggin' cereal. You are. I don't ever sit on the couch. You don't eat cereal. I don't. When, when, when do I eat cereal? I have seen you eat cinnamon toast crunch on numerous occasions. Years ago. You love cinnamon toast crunch. Not since crunch. I've been on this training regimen. This training regimen doesn't count. You're in a whole other world. But no, you eat Cinnamon Toast Crunch and you just watch the uh, Saints of Many Saints of Newark with me on the couch. And then we babe, watched Moonstruck. Babe, which you're on medication. You're on, I am on medication, on medication, but it still happened. It still happened. You years ago, a friend of mine. You know what I mean? Like years ago. Are you going to rap now, too? Yeah, baby, I'm, I'm a former rapper. You know, I got it. Now. You never rapped. I'm shake a baker candlestick. You know Vito, I want to talk about some other should things I, here. Should I, I bring up? Gonna... What? What do you want to bring up? What do you want to bring up? My name is Chris Kringle. Oh, fuck. That's right, ladies. Here's my number. Give me a jingle. Because I want to mingle. Because you know on Thursday nights I'm single. If you don't shut up, you're going to jingle your own dingle. That's what they do on Thursday nights. Vito! I hate that. That used to be Vito's answering machine. That used to be Vito's answering machine. You were on the first indie show I went to, XWF In Your Face in Hammond, Indiana, which was the first house show after the TV taping. I think you faced Dresden. Yes, I did. Look that's, at this. We never go live on YouTube hold ever. On, hold this on. Is like and that's when you see me get pissed off. You see me friggin' ball shot him twice. You see me get frustrated, <laughs> kick a chair seven feet in the air, and want to fight. Is that what Kerr Henning and Roddy Piper like had to talk you down? <laughs> he was there. He was there. They but isn't the that guy your friend now? He passed away. Yeah, he's the one that just passed away. But we away became recently. friends after that, so it's all good. But boy, was I mad that night. Yeah, but it's kind of cool, like to have the chat. We we never we never do this anymore. We usually just record it. Um, and uh, I hit the wrong button, so we're live with everybody, and um, that's mm -hmm. kind of cool. It's neat. But anyway, um, I got kicked off Twitch. Hello, hey, how you doing, Disco El Swayze? Hey, it's Disco. Hi, Disco. Um, that's okay because we're on Twitch yet. Uh, so anyway. Um, what I was saying was like, yeah, so you have a weird selection of Christmas music. Um, and I wanted to discuss that we're heading into the holiday season. You found some new G fella songs. I tried to reach out to G fella. Maybe I'm in the wrong thing. I'm trying to like reach out to see if we can do a collab, but, um, you have a few other songs in your repertoire that are interesting. Uh, I don't know if you guys realized that. Uh, Joe Pesci has a Christmas album. Yeah, listen to that one too. <laughs> Vito listens to this Joe Pesci Christmas album. That if it doesn't, you know, snow on Christmas, how Santa gonna get his fat ass in the sleigh and deliver gifts? That's another one of Vito's favorite. So he has some strange Christmas on. But what is your favorite? Oh wait a minute, Vito. Will you return to the WWE with your transvestite character? Number one, it wasn't a transvestite character. Okay. That's what they call cross-dressers now. Honey. It was a cross-dresser. I'm not transvestite because I didn't vest overnight. But <laughs> anyway. I never wore a vest. <laughs> Vito, were a Beastie Boys for, fan back in the day? Yes. Yes, big okay, Beastie Boys fan. But anyway, guys, if they ask me to come back to WWE, yes. If they ask me to go to uh, um, AEW, yes. I'm not, a, I'm not, I do want to go back to wrestling. 
but under the right circumstances, not to just appear on a one night shot just to go. Like, Wave your cap. <laughs> just like some guys do. And it's ridiculous. But go ahead. I keep losing my train of thought. Okay. So what is your favorite go-to Christmas song right now? Like what is you, would you say is your favorite Christmas song? The one from G fella followed by it's in the ghetto. In the ghetto is not a Christmas song. We had this. Vote All last those year. people in the ghetto are wishing at Christmas they can get out of the ghetto. But that does not make it a Christmas yes, song. Yes, it does. It, it's it's not. For those of you who don't know, go over to YouTube. Put in Elvis oh in God. the ghetto. We played it on here and broke it down last year into little pieces. And it is not. We called in a doctor of education in music. It is not a Christmas oh song. It is not. But you like that new G fellas Christmas yeah, again song. Good. So you like that. Okay. I have a lot of favorite Christmas songs, but I have like an obscure one. I like Louis Prima shake hands with Santa Claus. That's like my favorite one okay. right now. I, mean, I really dig that. Everybody has their thing. I have my thing. I like weird music. I like old music. Right, so let's get to this week's vote. Okay. Go ahead, Vito. Are you, which one have you decided on? Are you going to have them choose a car? Or All right, let's do them? the car thing. Okay. Should big Vito get the Corvette yellow? Or the pristine El, El Dorado Baritz Cadillac white, just like matching the new one, 86, 76,000 miles, seats that will rock your socks off. And I'm saying, hey, that's maybe the car to get. So it's Corvette, Caddy El Dorado. I think Vito should get... I don't know. This is the first time I don't have it. I like them both. Uh, the Corvette I like because it's smaller and I think it would fit better in the driveway so I could pull the golf cart around. It. <laughs> That's, but I like the Cadillac, you know, because I like the Frank Sinatra kind of. A, Corvette year that. is 91. Corvette year is 91. What year is the Barrettes? 86. They're all low miles, garage caps. Like he's definitely looking for a classic car. He wants to take to Old Town Car Show. So he's trying to pick an old town car show car. That's what it is. So you guys got to help him pick it out. There's no winner or loser this week. He needs you guys to pick the car so he can pick the car. Christmas in Hollis by Run DMC. What Christmas means to me by Stevie Wonder. Ooh, I like that one. No roads to top. No roads to top. Too bad, though. Too but bad. it looks ni I mean, it's it nice. Is nice though. Though. It's nice, though. It is nice. Vito loves his Cadillacs. He is a very much a Cadillac man. Very much a cat. And he has a beautiful new Cadillac in the garage, but he needs uh, an old town car. He needs a car to take to old town. He calls it his daily, his daily driver. Do you want to explain that you have dailies of pretty much everything? Yeah, we need a daily driver because I have the new Caddy. So like, I got need a daily, right? So once I have the daily, you know, driving in class. But you have a, I, I want you to, um, Explain to them how everything in your life, there's a daily. There's a daily wearer. There's a daily. There's like a daily. Like I have true. change, right? So I'm looking. I've been looking to have a daily wear chain. I have some beautiful jewelry. I have Versace. I have some gold necklaces, you know. But I'm still looking for that everyday, you know, daily, right? Just like my bathrobes, right? I have a great selection of bathrobes. But I'm trying to get this Versace bathrobe that's cost $600. And it's like Christmas. And I'm like, Vito, you deserve it. You know, you don't buy yourself a Christmas gift. You buy gifts. For, like, I've been buying Christmas presents for you and mom and dad and, you know, the nephews. And stuff. You're talking about it. It's Christmas. I'm going to buy my... Guys, we are not bazillionaires. No. But Vito lives like he is a bazillionaire. And then, like, I but live modestly. I work for my money. He does. He works very hard. And he and he owns every... He doesn't make payments. He owns everything outright. Like, he's that's mm -hmm. his thing. But he definitely lives like a bazillionaire. And then you wouldn't believe like some, like we laugh at people's negativity because it's funny to us because we're just real. This is who we are. Like this is our real house. And like, there's nothing that, you know, we will give you guys a full tour. Like we don't care, but people are like, Oh, that's gotta be fake. You gotta live a fake life. What do you rent that golf cart? Yeah. What do you, this is where we live. Yeah. Just so everybody <laughs> knows in the, in the midst of all this, I had to spend eight hundred dollars on new golf cart batteries. Why are golf cart batteries so expensive? Well, when you live a pristine life, you know golf carts are a commodity and a necessity when you live in a golf cart community on a golf course. So having the batteries, being thank God, thank you to Arts Carts, Arts Carts in Haines City, baby, Haines City. We love they, Arts. Uh, 
they took care of me and provided me with brand new batteries. I didn't have to go to the back of the wait list. I called up Art. I said, yo, brother, what's going on? How did everyone, Big V, need you? Don't you think it was because Harlow needed him? Art loves me. Art yeah. loves, everybody here loves. The thing about the, the golf cart and the golf community, I, I want to get into, I watched last night because I am not sleeping well, obviously, because I know. Um, I watched a special last night. It was called, I believe it was called Frank Sinatra and Palm Springs. Right. And it talked all about Frank Sinatra um, and what he did for Palm Springs and how he was one of the early founders of the golf courses in Palm Springs. Right. And it reminded me of living here. Mm. But the cool thing, and I love people, people might hate me. I don't give a shit. I love civil rights and equality. Love it, love it, love it. He and the Marx Brothers went, and Danny Kay went in and created their own golf course because the golf course Bob Hope had would not allow Jewish people or people of color in it. So. Uh, disgusting. So Frank Sinatra, who is just Italian, but his best friend was Sammy Davis Jr., him, Danny Kay, and the Marx Brothers, who were Jewish, started their own golf course. And what they did was when you became a member of the golf course, you got your own plot of land to build on. Very so cool. if you, yeah, so if you signed up, then you got a plot of land you could build your house on. And then that way, the Jewish people and the African-American people that were getting blocked out of anything now lived in your neighborhood. Go fuck yourself. I thought it was the best thing I ever watched. And the houses were amazing. Yeah. And he did so much community work that nobody knows about. They said he used to get up in the morning. It reminded me of you. He used to get up in the morning and he would read the newspaper. And he would see such and such in the community's mobile home caught on fire. She has three kids. He would call his assistant and say, uh, I'm going to need you to write a check to her and, and take it over to make sure that uh, they put a new house down for her. Nothing. While he read the paper in the morning, every day of his life, he did that. When there was something in the community, he went and they said every single day, no fail. He had more money than he could use and he needed to help people. And he did it every single day. I thought that was an amazing no, story. Cool it's story. on YouTube for free. If you guys want to watch it, it's Palm Springs and Frank Sinatra. It's a really neat special. All right. All right, guys, you got five days to vote. We're going to go Corvette, Cadillac. Corvette or Cadillac. Now, before we end this, before I give everybody the information, I went back in the archives. We had to vote. Do we buy a truck? Or do we buy a Cadillac? You went against the vote. You lost. Are you getting a truck? Yes. This is the first time you ever didn't follow the vote. And I didn't want anybody to come after you and go, remember, you know, when you had the vote and you bought a Cadillac? But I am buying a truck. But he is, my, he is getting a truck. He is getting a truck. So I want to let everybody know we always stick with the vote. We don't go against it. Sure. But he got a Cadillac. But my scooter does fit in his Cadillac. You got five days to vote. Does Vito get a Corvette or does Vito get a Barretz? Uh, go over to, what is my Twitter account? Go over to t Twitter at Magic T Spiller and you'll have five days to vote on there. And you can go on and say what you think, what Vito should get. And maybe Vito will share pictures of this pretty car with you guys on his account. Also, guys, go over to TikTok. We're going to be having a lot of content on there. In fact, I think we're going to go film some in a little bit. Um, that's really fun. You get to watch all Vito matches. He does all the challenges and stuff. We, we really have a good time. And don't forget, we have a Patreon. And boy, with medical bills, we could use it. So go over to the Patreon and join. It'll, it starts at a dollar a month. It doesn't hurt anybody to pay a dollar a month. It's like uh, it's like nothing. All right, guys. You got the information from Anthony's last question. I had an Eldorado 98 used to overheat. I'm very sorry. Did the program <laughs> talk about Frank Sinatra's performance at a school in Gary, Indiana? I'm not sure. No, it did not. Vito, which nightclubs you went to in the 90s? Every single one of them. Uh, in the mid 80s, the Eldorado looks great. Did you ever spend time on Long Island? The best times of my childhood was spent in Long Island in Brentwood. We used to roll up and see the Jack in the box. That's the show. We got to go. Noel, take it away. All right, guys. Again, remember Patreon at Big B Mafia. And we'll see you back here next week on Mr. vs. Mr. Bye bye. And I was singing that note. What are you, crazy? I'm just telling a story over here. Merry Christmas.